To navigate in Blender 3D space, there are three basic movements that you want to master. Orbit, Pan and Zoom. This is Dude Blender and let's jump right in. We want to use a three button mouse and a keyboard with a numpad for the fastest workflow. If you don't have them, you can go to Edit, Preferences, Input and check the Emulate Numpad box, which will make your keyboard numbers act like numpad keys and the Emulate 3 button mouse box, which allows you to press Alt and Left mouse button to emulate the middle mouse button. Orbit. The basic control is to click and drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view around the selection. You can also click and drag on this circle. It works on objects, but also on individual vertices, edges, or faces. And if you select several elements at the same time, it will orbit around the midpoint of your selection. To use your screen space more efficiently, you'll often want to have your object in the center of the screen, so you can press period on the numpad to center on your selection. Also, pressing Alt middle mouse button anywhere recenters the view on that point. Alt middle mouse button and drag will align the view to the next axis in that direction. Middle mouse button and then alt will orbit but also snaps to axis and 45 degree views. 2, 4, 6 and 8 will rotate the view in 15 degree steps in that direction. Pressing 9 will orbit 180 degrees around the Z axis to see your object from the other side, except when you're on top view by pressing 7, in which case pressing 9 will give you a bottom view. In Edit Preferences Navigation, you can change the orbit method. Turntable keeps up, up, while Trackball gives you more flexibility but can also be disorienting. Orbit Sensitivity defines the speed of of movement. Orbit around selection should usually be on, but you can turn it off when working with large meshes such as buildings or terrain where the point of interest can be a specific area of the object. Pan. The basic control is shift middle mouse button and drag, which moves the view up, down, left or right. For panning in small steps, press control 2, 4, 6 or 8 depending on the direction you want. Zoom. Scrolling with your mouse wheel will bring your current view closer or further away. You can also press control middle mouse button and drag drag up or down. Pressing plus or minus on the numpad zooms in small steps. Shift B allows you to zoom in to a specific area with the left mouse button or zoom out with the middle mouse button. Shift control middle mouse button and drag dollies the camera so you can even go through objects. If you ever get lost in 3D space, pressing home changes the view to show the whole scene. In edit preferences navigation, you can change the zoom method. These options only work when zooming with the control middle mouse button. Continue keep zooming in depending on the position of the mouse relative to the starting point of the zoom. Dolly zooms as you move the mouse. Scale zooms as you move the mouse away from the center of the viewport. Zoom axis sets whether moving the mouse up, down or left, right controls the zoom. Zoom to mouse position sets the mouse as the zoom point. And these two checkboxes invert the zoom direction. You can also roll the camera in steps by pressing shift 4 or 6. We barely use this one, but it's good to know that it's there. Axis and camera views. Pressing 1, 3 or 7 will align the views to the Y, X and Z axes respectively, which you can think of as front, side and top views. Pressing control with those same numbers does the same thing but from the other side. Pressing 0 takes you to the active camera view. Flywalk navigation. If you go to view navigation, you'll see two options at the bottom, fly and walk. Fly is a bit difficult to control, but walk is especially useful in architecture or game design where sometimes you want to control the view as if it were a character with the WASD keys. Tap toggles gravity so that you can walk around. It even has some collision detection so you can walk up and down stairs. You control the view with the mouse and all of the controls for these modes are at the bottom of the Blender window. And that's all there is to it. Don't forget to subscribe or watch any of these videos if you enjoyed the content. I'm Dude Blender. Happy blending.